what I'm doing right here is I'm hand pumping the fuel line I have to continue to squeeze and pump this little ball to feed fuel from the line to the motor because we're out of gas when I stop or slow down this happens huh <laughs> we are so close I've been doing this for about 15 minutes and let me tell you my forearms or hands are killing me I need a hand massage <laughs> I'm just glad the wind stopped holy crap should be good now should be good That's what I'm pumping right there on the left hand side, that little grenade looking thing. Everybody, welcome back. This is Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I'm fishing with Billy Ray from Saltwater Soul. And, and um and he just uh he just ran out of gas and I had a my hands are dead. I had to pump the whole way. Pump. So say Billy Ray, how's your day going? Oh, it's great. Life's good. <laughs> <laughs> just another salty day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a little 15. Oh, that's nice. Okay, keep your line out, bro. I got it. Okay, they're over here. Okay. Well, this is a little 15 right there. What'd you catch him on? That goat. Goat, penny goat. That's solid. Okay. See that? See that? Billy Ray caught on a penny goat, and he gave me not a penny goat. See that? You see that? That's a setup. Put that out there. He set me up. Put that out there. He <laughs> said long short shoes head. He, hit. he set me up. <laughs> set me up. Set me up. Now what we're doing right here is we're drifting. We have the wind to our back and we're allowing it to push the boat. Um, you can also do this from a kayak. But you allow it to push you over uh, surface of water, an area. And what we're doing is that we are just simply bouncing, either bouncing it on the bottom or swimming the lure back to yourself. You can even uh, jerk and reel. It uh, just depends on what type of lure you're using. But this gives you the ability to cover a lot of water and, and fish thick. the um, fish drop-offs and oyster reefs. In this case, we're fishing uh, over some oysters. But it's a great another, technique another to use. You got him? Oh, up top, yes. Keep right out there, they're all here. Now I want Billy Ray about my ability to lose fish. Yeah, here we go. I'm second to none. I got that too. Quick release. Oh my god, that was a good one. 18 inches right there, bro. 18 inches. Yeah, I can lose. I can lose a fish. That means I got a soft bite. You know, I'm sorry for the audio. The audio went to, you know what, went to crap. I don't know what's going on with my mic. It comes in, it goes out. Pretty blue tail, look at that blue tail. But that bass assassin, lime truce, it was money. It was money for us. Right here since Saturday. Something came up and just hit my line and took off swimming. Fishing for trout, I really didn't think about it to write about here. I said, oh crap, it's a flounder. And it came off. I never set my hook and paid the price.
we go. Flounder. Oh, nope. It's a, it's a flounder. But the flounder all gone. We're keeping that flounder. <laughs> Nice flatty. He's gonna be right at 15, maybe 15 inches. 15 and a half. I think so, 17? 17. Get it in that cooler right there. Let's get another one. Okay. Maybe. Oh nope. Just the ground. Dope. That was not the ground, that was a flounder. There you go, that's better. That big? What do you see this flounder here, bud? That's a decent flounder. Need the net? Oh my god, is it so? I can't believe it. So this random dog just jumped in. Jumped in Billy Ray's boat. What are you doing here, boy? You're a big dog. You're a big dog. What's going on? You gonna get out now? Okay. <laughs> Game warden over here. All right, so that's gonna do it for me. I came out today. I met up with Billy Ray from Saltwater Soap. We came out to West Bay, fished all day. You know, we caught a few fish, but nothing spectacular. But you know what? We just had a great time out here on the water. It's a beautiful day, great company. Couldn't ask for a better situation. But hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification, letting you know next time I upload a video. And for all my regular viewers and subscribers out there, I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully next time, you'll catch me hooking up. Thanks.